Good morning. My name is Claire Antoine. I'm originally from Fort Smith, Northwest Territories. Um, I am a Dene Cree Métis. Um, what I'm going to talk to you about is the four sacred medicines as I know them, the tobacco, sage, sweetgrass, and cedar. Now, tobacco, what my mother told me was when they used tobacco, they made it from the bark of the red willow or um, bearberry leaves and they were dried and added into tobacco. So this is what they would use in ceremonies and they would use also to, to smoke. Um, tobacco was actually used as a um, traditionally as the pathway to the creator. So if you were going to do ceremony or pray, you would uh, use your tobacco as an offering in a fire or to, to plants, if you're collecting plants. Um, the sacred uh, tobacco that you see nowadays actually originated from uh, South America which actually didn't grow up here. So people use different plants and barks to, to make tobacco. And some of these plants caused a, uh, an effect that would help people on their vision quests or to talk to the creator or the spirits or the grandfathers. The other sacred um, medicine is sage. Sage, as we know, as you see commercially, is white sage that they find down in the prairies. But here we have prairie sage wood, which is actually an artemisia. That was used to dispel negative energies. So how do you use sage? Typically, you would have an opening, a window open or a door. So when you're lighting it, you're dispelling negative energy. So the open door or window would be a place for them to leave. It was also used, we also used it as a smudge for mosquitoes. So, you know, it, if you're talking about sacred, it would be sacred something to be used in a certain way in ceremonies or in prayer, but it also had other uses, domestic uses for medicinal purposes or for for dispelling of, uh, of bugs, which was commonly used. Um, I know for Artemisia, it has a very nice smell and it, it, it does grow locally here. Um, although uh, where I found it, it tends to always be eradicated by ice when the breakup comes. <clears throat> it's been typically used also for flavoring for foods. Um, we also have uh, cedar. And an interesting thing to know about the cedar here in North America is actually called a false cedar or a new world cedar, which actually is the, from the Cypress family. As we do not have true cedar growing here in North America, it comes from the Mediterranean area. So the cedar we have here has flat scale like needles. And in this area, we would call um, the creeping juniper, it can also be called, it's also called creeping cedar. Now these are also to, to, to dispel negative energies also, and it would be used, you know, you could uh, burn it and, as a smudge to dispel of negative energies. And actually it was used in the first world war in the medical centers as they lit the branch and it, when you light the branch and blow out the flame, it dispels a, a gas that is disinfectant in the air. So it would disinfect your air. Say it would be used if somebody was sick. It was also used as a medicine. 
and uh, my mother would use this for my daughter when she had asthma and she would make a tea from the creeping juniper and would actually help calm down the cough and actually helps and people would use this for uh, people that had coughs, pneumonia, stuff like that. So and was also used for flavoring foods and stuff. So you see it had many uses. The next the one I want to talk about is sweetgrass. Now sweetgrass was used a lot by the plains people. As for the northern and subarctic peoples, we didn't have a rid of all access to getting sweetgrass, although there are places where you can find it. But we tend to use a uh, diamond willow fungus, which is kind of, which is common up here. It grows on the white willow tree, which is infected by the by a fungus, which causes diamond shapes into the willow wood. And in this side, this diamond would grow this fungus, which we call the diamond willow fungus. And when it's dried and lit and used in ceremonies, it gives us a very pleasant smell like anise and this would be used uh, the same way as you would use sweetgrass so sweetgrass and diamond willow brought in positive energy but it was also used as a medicinal plant or medic medicinal uses for headaches um, my grandfather would put a rock on the stove and heat up the stove and then he would put the willow fungus a bit of the yellow powdered yellow willow fungus on a rock and it would be you would breathe it in this would help cure migraine headaches and just regular headaches so a lot of these plants and uh, funguses were medicinal in use not only spiritually I'm not too sure what they really mean by sacredness. I know everything that we use and do, we have ways of doing it by showing respect. I guess that's the way I would uh, describe sacredness. It was, we would be respectful for that plant or rock or anything. Cause we believe that everything has spirit and if you think about it, scientifically, everything is made of energy. So everything is alive and has spirit. Because from our body, once we pass on, we become spirit. Or we become an energy. We transform into something else. So this is what indigenous people believed. So we have to be respectful of everything and, and mindful that... Uh, if we abuse something and we lose it, we no longer have that medicine. Um, coming from the north, we we don't practice a whole lot of ceremonies the way the plains people do, and uh, because our customs and our traditions are different, and we have to be mindful of that. That every group has their own customs and their own traditions and not everyone does the same thing like where I come from we have drum dances as to the plains they have powwows um, they feed the fire for uh, instead of lighting incense or sweet grass so typically it's different from area to area and uh, we just have to be mindful that not everyone is the same. Um, and that's, I suggest that, you know, if you want to learn more about it, talk to an elder that knows about it or read up on it. And I can only teach what I know and what I was taught. So I thank you for listening to me.